Hey viewers, something I'm asked frequently is where do I get the bikes that I work on in my videos? And the, I actually buy them in a variety of sources from uh, thrift stores to garage sales to flea markets to eBay to Craigslist. And Craigslist is one of my favorite sources. Uh, it's, it's awesome. It's like I have a huge list of uh, bikes to, to look through from the comfort of my home. And there's just more bikes showing up every day. And so I'm going to show you some of the, the little techniques that I use for sifting through all the different bikes that you can find on Craigslist. Uh, so first go to your local Craigslist and go to under for sale, go to bikes, click that. And then I usually check, check uh, all bicycles, which is dealer and by owner. And you're going to bring up a uh, just a list of bikes here. Just a long list of bikes here. And then uh, right now there are 431 bikes to choose from. And these are all just in my my local city area here. But I actually want to look through more bikes than that because uh, I'm willing to travel. So I'm going to go over here and click this include nearby areas. And this is going to drop down. And I can just go through and keep adding a whole bunch of different areas if I'm willing to drive and so I'm willing to drive to say Buffalo, uh, Niagara region, uh, Finger Lakes here and uh, Syracuse those are all within uh, not too far of a drive so I'll go ahead and update that and now I have 1150 bikes to choose from and this is just the bike section there's also another thing if you go under here uh, and drop down there's also bike parts and so a lot of times you can find a whole list of uh, just cool bike parts under here, wheels. And sometimes you can find somebody selling like a box of bike parts or boxes of bike parts. And I've gotten some uh, great stuff like that. And so a lot of the stuff I'm talking about here in bikes will also apply over into that category as well. Um, now, see, I'm looking for bargains. And, uh, you know, so there's a lot of bikes in here, like $350, $300, $1,000. And those are a little bit more that I really want to spend, you know, for a bargain bike. You know, I'm looking for something I can buy, clean up, and flip real quick. And so I'm going to set a max price. Uh, I'm going to set a max price of, let's say, $200. Now, one of the things to be aware of uh, is, like, when you, uh, you set a max price, uh, there's... Cat, uh, some listings in here that don't have prices set. See, like this one here has a price set, $550. But like you go down here, there's no price set, no price set, no price set, no price set. Um, that if you go inside those listings, they've listed it within the text of there. So um, when you set a uh, max price, those ones actually get filtered out. Uh, but fortunately, those are just the very much more, a minority of listings. I'm going to set for $200 and in reality, reality I'm probably I don't really want to spend $200 uh, but I'm, what I'm counting on is when I go out and look at the bike say hey they list for $200 I can probably negotiate down to like 150 or something like that because most sellers will negotiate so um, now that I have that that drops the listing uh, down here to 721 listings so there's less listings and you know, so the, there's still quite a few listings here, uh, but a lot of the bikes in here are probably stuff that I'm not really interested. Like here's Huffy, Huffy, Huffy. I don't want Huffies. So one of the techniques I can use here is if I go minus Huffy. So that dropped it from 771 down to uh, 669. So I just dropped like over a hundred listings from there uh, here's women's girls I don't want to look at girls bikes so I can go ahead minus girls I just dropped uh, a whole bunch more minus Ross and there drops some more so that's a one technique I can use to kind of start filtering uh, out listings that I don't want to see um, something else I can do is if I'm looking for specific kinds of bikes so say I'm looking for I want a Trek bike I can just type in Trek uh, and that will bring it up 28 listings uh, with just Trek bikes. And so like here's one that's Trek Trax XL, $75. Uh, this is actually uh, Trek 850. 
uh, $75. And I know this place. It's a local little place that buys and sells stuff. Uh, it has been in there for 23 days. I've seen it relisted a few times. And so I could possibly go into that place and say, hey, would you take 60 bucks for it? 50 bucks. I might be able to negotiate it down a little bit and get that bike. It's an 850, which is actually a pretty good bike. Oh, it's an older one. It's It's got like... Uh, just uh, rigid forks on there. It doesn't have the uh, the shocks on there. But then there's other bikes through here. And I can just start going through the, the listings. Now, I'm familiar with a lot of these listings because I've gone through uh, every day looking at and seeing what new listings pop up. So for the most part, if I keep up to date with this stuff, I only need to look at the most recent listings. Now, let's say I'm looking for even something more specific. Let's say a uh, Trek, uh, let's say a Trek Hybrid. Um, like this and they'll bring up like one listing here and 3700 that's actually not even a hybrid there but uh, so let me see like uh, Trek 1500 and there's one of those so I get uh, add more detail in there like that now let's say I want to look for more uh, bikes more than just Trek let's say I, I'm interested in a lot of different higher-end bikes so not just Trek so I want to say also like specialized and I can uh, this use this pipe character this pipe character is located on your keyboard um, it's right above your inner key there's a slash and then uh, there's uh, it's on the same key as like the slash but you have to shift it and you get this little pipe character well this pipe character works as an or you know so like I could say like Trek or specialized or Cannondale or uh, giant so then I go ahead like uh, that and now I'm bring up uh, 57 listings of more uh, more bikes that I can kind of go through and I can make this list uh, a little bit bigger and bigger and bigger. And so also what I can do is I can add something to this. So I check track, specialized, or Cannondale, or Giant. I can add another word here, space, hybrid. So I'm looking for hybrids of in any of these brands there. So it says this, or this, or this, or this, and the space is an and, and hybrid. And so now I have like three different hybrids that I'm looking for. Uh, so it's a real cool like little tool like that. Now let's say I'm uh, looking for something like uh, uh, a two word type thing. So let's say I want to do a, a call Nago and there may not be any of these especially under this uh, little limit of two hundred dollars there. So call Nago or and DeRosa so is uh, two words so I could do a quote there so D Rosa like that or, and I'm, I also want to probably do as one word because I don't know how they have it listed, or De Rosa, or Massey. And I can search for this. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of this little uh, limit there. And uh, so there, so if you want to use like this, uh, like a two word or multiple, like a phrase in here, you can use quotes in there like that. Um, now let's say I'm looking for road bikes. One of the things I might do is just, you know, if I do a search for like road bike, um, it'll come up with 126 listings. Uh, now I might also add in like 700C because maybe they'll have the listing of the tire, the tire size in there. And so now these are just wheel sets here, but they may not say specifically that it's a road bike, but they might list that it has 700C tires or wheels on there. And so, um, and I may also add 27 because 27 inch wheels. And so now I'm at 177 listings and I can click through the, some of those. That's what I'm looking for is for a uh, road bike. Um, misspellings that's another thing you can look for and uh, so like Raleigh is normally spelled E-I-G-H like that and uh, but I'm also interested in they might also misspell it and a common misspelling of Raleigh is E-I or I-E I mean so uh, now I have 132 listings so uh, let me see if I get rid of that see if there's any listings so there is one listing out there, uh, and actually it looks like they have EI there, but maybe within the listing itself, maybe they have uh, spelled as uh, IE. I'm not sure, but, uh, oh, right there, IE. So 
sometimes you can find uh, misspelled uh, listings, and sometimes that'll give you an advantage because if they've misspelled the uh, the, the the thing, the brand of the bike or whatever, and you find it. It could be that other people that are looking for that brand, that are looking for Raleigh's or Trex or whatever, they don't find it. Uh, common misspelling, so like Trek might be uh, Turk or Trek or Trex. Uh, some of those are common misspellings of the name there uh, or Trex. Uh, is something like sometimes like that. So sometimes looking for misspelled words might give you an advantage and find some books that you or find some bikes that you might not otherwise see. Um, now another strategy that I might use is to go over here and uh, search just for all listings, all categories, bike, pipe, bikes, pipe, bicycle, pipe, bicycles plural and like that now this will bring up this brings up a hundred or fourteen hundred and ninety six listings and I've already looked through bikes I want to just look through the bikes and bicycle parts individually so I'm looking for uh, bikes in other categories other than the bikes and bike parts categories and so there's 942 now some of these might be motorcycles so like dirt bikes so I can drop these categories out and uh, update search there and uh, cars and trucks get rid of that uh, recreational vehicles maybe get through that update search and 278 listings now so these are like listings in uh, things oh wanted I probably want to get rid of wanted because uh, those are include things people want to buy bikes it's like well no I'm looking for bikes I'm not looking for people who want to buy bikes and so uh, you, you might find listings in other categories here so like bicycle here men's women's and this is in general for sale by owner and here's uh, men's women's bikes not that I'm interested in that uh, again there's still some motorcycles here um, here's a bike saddle uh, and that's in sporting goods not something I'm really interested in but th so there's a it gives you you can find bikes that are not in the bike uh, category uh, here's like a uh, men's Trek 3500 mountain bike with suspension and uh, this is in sporty goods and uh, that's actually kind of a nice bike uh, I think a little uh, more than I want to spend but it's there so sometimes you can find deals in here I've actually found a Claude Butler road bike and found it in a listing here uh, that was in among some other stuff uh, it was just they were clearing out it said like spring sale or something and I went clicked in and there was a Claude Butler bike the picture of it and it was forty dollars and that was an absolute steal so you can find bikes in here like this well then another uh, category that you might want to search just by itself is garage sale so again go into garage sale and this is really useful especially in the spring uh, in summer is go into here and bike bikes bicycles or bicycle and bicycles plural like that and uh, usually uh, in the spring and summer when people are having garage sales yard sales uh, you might find a whole bunch of listings in here and find some cool stuff uh, like here's an indoor yard sale uh, and I don't know what all they have uh, duh, 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 go down here Boys bicycle with tra training wheels. Okay, that's probably not something I'm interested in. There might be a picture in here somewhere. Um, but so sometimes you can find listings and find some bikes like that. And then another thing you might also want to do is just search garage sales without this. So just go ahead and search all the garage sales, and uh, and uh, you might also uh, search by. Uh, uh, miles and zip code and so something I might do is go off and uh, search for stuff um, that are near my work and I can go off during my lunch hour and uh, find stuff and so like here here's one and I go in here and there's a, a like a Schwinn bike there uh, it's an older one safety brakes uh, 
them mounted shifters. So, and but it doesn't list the price. So you'd have to maybe go investigate that. But sometimes you find you go through uh, these listings and click in. You can look at the pictures, and so sometimes you might find in the pictures, even though they don't specifically list bikes in there, in the pictures uh, you might find you know a picture of a bike or tools. So sometimes you can find. Uh, great deals on tools like there's some crescent wrenches and some other it's like maybe a, a socket set or, or something I'm not sure there or here's a socket set but um, so you can maybe find tools or bikes there might be a, a picture of a bike somewhere in there and uh, so you can find a deal on a bike like that um, now often when you find uh, searches that you find they're very useful is you know, you find something and you're searching for the same thing every day, like here, and you're looking for a track that's under $200, like this. And so you're searching for that, you know, every day. So you might uh, use the, uh, the bookmark feature, bookmark that search, and so that you can come back and click that bookmark, and it will bring up uh, this search with any new listings as well. And so I have a whole uh, big... Uh, uh, drop down full of Craigslist searches that I do uh, frequently and that's another thing search every day search multiple times a day the more often you search the better your odds of finding a bike because uh, the best deals don't last very long and so you want to you know you go out there you find it contact the seller you know if they have a phone number call them text them if they don't have that uh, email them and also look at their preferences so if they say don't text me don't text them. Uh, if they say, text me, but don't call me, don't call them because you don't want to annoy the seller like that. Uh, so anyway, uh, you know, but contact them as soon as possible. Say, hey, when I, when I can out, come out and, and see the bike, go out there and see the bike as soon as possible because the best deals don't last. So you want to get out there and uh, look at the bike. And if it's a good bike, buy the bike. Don't delay. Because if you delay, uh, you might miss that uh, thing, that, that deal because somebody else is going to be right there. there. There's other people out there looking for deals also. And the first person there wins. So you, you try to be the first person there, cash in hand, ready to buy that bike. And uh, that's how you get the best deals. Um, now, another uh, technique I, I use is through Craigslist, but not directly on Craigslist. Go over to Google and do site colon, and there's uh, an example there, site colon craigslist.org, and then you could do your search terms right here. Now, what this does is Google is going to go out and search anything under the craigslist.org domain and search for these uh, search words. And so this is if you're really willing, if you're looking for a hard to find bike and you're really willing to travel. And I'm sitting here waving my hand so you can't see this, but um, so if you're looking say for a Colnago Master and there's uh, probably nothing in my local area that's a Colnago Master, but if I'm willing to travel, so like here's one in uh, New York and I uh, go here and that's in uh, Brooklyn and a vintage 90s called Nago Master and that's $2,300 and uh, Master here here's a frame $450 now it looks like it's out in San Francisco and uh, Madison which I'm assuming is Wisconsin oh that one was deleted and uh, Carvalis uh, which is what I think Oregon and so here's Conago uh, Master X Lite, 57 centimeters, $2,200. And so this will allow you to go out and search a much broader area of uh, Craigslist than you could uh, just right on the Craigslist site. And so this is very helpful. So if you're looking out for a, uh, like a hard to find item, uh, so let's say I'm looking for skip tooth bikes I do something like this and uh, skip tooth cruiser bike and oh that's a, 
I wouldn't mind having a bike like this, uh, like an old moto type frame here. Like, oh, that's a pretty th uh, thing. Looks like maybe a little bit rusty. Uh, new saddle, but $250. That were local to me, I'd, I'd, I'd be contacting the seller and see if I could uh, do a deal on there. $250, best offer. And uh, I don't know what brand it is, but uh, that would just be a kind of a fun bike to have. You know, go for like a... Uh, uh, yeah, like one of those uh, with people riding antique bikes and stuff like that would be kind of fun. Um, anyway, so these are some of the techniques that I used to hunt Craigslist for for bikes. And you never know what you find. It's like a treasure hunt. So you're out there looking for that gemstone of a bike, that bargain of a deal. And if you search every day frequently, uh, you can find some really cool bikes out here. And uh, be, just jump on those and you find some great deals. But search often. Uh, frequently, like every day, multiple times a day, and because uh, things are always being added here. And, uh, you know, if you keep up to date on this stuff, you don't really need to dig down too deep unless you decide you're looking for something different and you can dig down through the older listings and stuff. But anyway, I hope you found this useful or interesting. If you did, please give my video a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to my channel, click the subscribe button, a little logo up or the little logo up in the corner. You can subscribe and see new videos to come out. I'm over on Facebook, RJ the Bike Guy. Go over there, like my page. I post a lot of stuff over there. And I have a web page, rjthebikeguy.com. Go over there, sign up for that page. And I have my videos categorized. I have some forums where you can ask questions. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.